British parliamentarians are angry that Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has turned down a request to appear from a committee examining who had access to his company's data. Ari Shapiro, host, in Britain, a special parliamentary committee is investigating whether Cambridge Analytica used the data it got from Facebook to influence the Brexit vote. Today the committee heard from a whistleblower from the London-based data mining firm. But their request to hear from Facebook CEO was rejected. NPR's Joanna Kakasis has this update from London. Joanna Kakassis byline, lawmakers were hoping to question Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg said he would send two executives in his place, prompting this response from committee chairman Damian Collins. Sound bite of archived recording, Damian Collins, given the extraordinary evidence we've heard so far today, I think it is absolutely astonishing that Mark Zuckerberg is not prepared to submit himself to questioning in front of a hearing. K-A-K-I-S-S-I-S, someone who was prepared to submit to questioning today was Christopher Wiley, the 28-year-old Canadian data scientist who used to work for Cambridge Analytica and is now claiming its staff use information to undermine democracy around the world. Sound bite of archived recording, Christopher Wiley, they don't care whether or not what they do is legal as long as it gets the job done. So they are an example of what modern-day colonialism looks like. K-A-K-I-S-S-I-S, Wiley told lawmakers that Cambridge Analytica is also linked to the Canadian digital firm Aggregate, which played an important role in the official Vote Leave campaign in Britain's referendum on EU membership. He said he helped set up Aggregate and touted its powerful targeted ads. Sound bite of archive recording, Wiley, they are incredibly effective. They are incredibly effective. I think it is completely reasonable to say that there could have been a different outcome in the referendum, you know, had there not been, in my view, cheating. A-A-K-I-S-S-I-S, in a blog post Boat Leaves campaign director, Dominic Cummings, called Wiley, quote, a fantasist charlatan, and dismissed his testimony. Charles Creel, who advises the parliamentary committee examining this issue, says lawmakers want to understand the relationship between these small data mining companies and social media giants like Facebook. Charles Creel, we're talking about data now. And suddenly there's a whole world of regulation that can be introduced around data, and the use of data, and the exploitation of data, and who owns the data, and how is data transferred from one company to another? K-A-K-I-S-S-I-S, with Facebook shares plummeting, Zuckerberg has promised to improve privacy and better inform the platform's users on what their data is being used for. But cybersecurity expert Emily Taylor points out that Facebook could just shut off data access to third parties and instead hoard the data for itself. Emily Taylor, what if in the future Mark Zuckerberg decided to run for president of the United States? How would you rate his odds given what he knows? K-A-K-I-S-S-I-S, meanwhile, Zuckerberg has agreed to testify before Congress on the data breach involving his company in Cambridge Analytica. Joanna Kakasis, NPR News, London. Sound bite of my epics, liturgy, instrumental, copyright, copyright, 2018 Nepalese rupees. All rights reserved. Visit our website Terms of Use and Permissions pages at www.npr.org for further information. NPR transcripts are created on a rush deadline by Verb ATM, Inc., an NPR contractor, and produced using a proprietary transcription process developed with NPR. This text may not be in its final form and may be updated or revised in the future. Accuracy and availability may vary. The authoritative record of NPR's programming is the audio record.